What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with another installment of news, in which I recap the sneaker news that mattered to me this week and look forward to this weekend's releases. Kicking off this week was the official release of the Nike Sportswear Wheat Pack on Thursday, November 12th. The Air Force One High, Air Max 90, Air Max 95, and Air Max 90 sneaker boot all received wheat colorways, following last year's extremely successful flax pack. Select sizes are still available, with links to purchase in the description. Moving into this week's news, new photos of next year's Nike Air-branded White Cement Jordan 4 Retro were leaked this week. Showing a slightly disappointing toe shape and a darker shade of cement gray compared to the originals, this release is officially named the Air Jordan 4 Retro OG. Stay tuned for more info as we get closer to the rumored release date of February 14th. The Flyknit Air Force One is back in the news this week with new images of the white-on-white -white Flyknit Air Force One Low. This modern take on a classic features a single-piece Flyknit upper, woven to detail the traditional paneling of the Air Force One, overlaid with a leather mid-panel swoosh, all atop a slightly modified Air Force One sole. Stay tuned for release info as we get closer to 2016. After being teased last week, the next Pusha T Adidas EQT93 was officially unveiled this week. The black market EQT93 is nearly identical in materials to Pusha T's first Adidas collab from earlier this year, but now in all black. The black market EQT93 is set for release on Black Friday, November 27th. Kicking off this weekend's releases is the Metropolis Adidas Consortium Superstar. Featuring a tonal gray suede upper with a unique molded suede toe cap, this superstar is limited to just 1,000 individually numbered pairs and releases today, November 13th, at select Adidas Consortium accounts worldwide for a retail price of $150. Nike's next Flyknit Racer releases today, November 13th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Nicknamed the Asai Berry colorway, this racer combines shades of purple, orange, and black to create a sporadic heathered colorway, which retails at $150, and a link to purchase is in the description. Sneaker Politics is back with another Saucony collaboration just two weeks after the release of their Canon Saucony Courageous. Continuing with the Battle of New Orleans theme, the Jackson Saucony Courageous goes for a more patriotic colorway with cream and navy suede and gold leather. This follow-up collab releases direct from Sneaker Politics today, Friday, November 13th, beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Scotland's Hannon is back with a duo of Puma collaborations set for release this Saturday, November 14th. The Hannon Adventurer Pack includes an XT2 and an XS850, with colorways inspired by the early years of Hannon traveling the world to hunt for rare and vintage sneakers to sell in Scotland. Both shoes will retail at 99 British pounds and include custom packaging, set for release in-store and online this Saturday. After delaying the release, Babe's duo of ASICS collaborations releases this weekend, consisting of a Gel Kayano Trainer and a Gel Light 5. The Kayano features a primarily brown colorway, with Bape's iconic camouflage on the mesh underlay, while the Gel Light 5 features a more desaturated colorway, with Bape camo printed on the midsole. This two-pack releases at select ASICS retailers worldwide on Saturday, November 14th. Following the release of the soccer boots and apparel, Nike's Savage Beauty Free Flyknit Mercurial releases this weekend on Nikestore.com. Featuring a black and purple Flyknit upper and a volcanic printed swoosh, this free Flyknit Mercurial will be available at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, November 14th for $200. Releasing alongside the Mercurial is yet another Jordan 7 Retro. The Nothing But Net Jordan 7 features a print taken from the shirt that Jordan was wearing during the Nothing But Net McDonald's commercial and hits Nike Store at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, November 14th for $190. Wrapping up this week is the highly anticipated release of the third Yeezy Boost 350, the Moonrock colorway. Set for release worldwide on Saturday, November 14th, the Moonrock 350 will only be available at select flagship stores and stores that carried Yeezy Season 1 apparel, making this colorway more elusive than the previous Turtle Dove and Pirate Black colorways. Follow me on Twitter at GTFan712 and at Adidas Alerts to stay up on the latest release information throughout the weekend, and in the meantime, check out my wear test of the Yeezy Boost 350 for my personal experience with the silhouette. And that will wrap up this installment of news. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this week's news and releases, and follow me on Twitter for up-to-the-minute news and release updates throughout the week. Until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.